never miss another strange story, subscribe and hit the bell. Sit back and get comfortable. I have a few stories to share with you. You know that feeling you get when you're alone in the dark? The one that's not there during the daylight, or if there's someone else there beside you. You may have discussed this feeling with your friends, laughed it off as you told them that you found yourself running up the stairs last night, hardly daring but unable to stop yourself glancing back down into the dark. Everyone knows that feeling. Right now, there's a woman in the basement storage room of her office building, searching through boxes of files with a torch for last year's tax return. The air is very still, but the hairs on the back of her neck are rising as though there is a breeze. She glances back over her shoulder towards the door, but sees nothing. She flicks through the papers a little faster, suddenly desperate for the chatter of the office above her. That moment, for her at least, is endless. There is a young man walking home from the bus stop, down a short path enveloped by trees. It cuts five minutes from his journey, and he always takes it without thinking. But once he's on the path, out of the soft orange glow of the streetlights, he regrets his decision. Every whisper of the wind, every rustle of the leaves, makes him cast his eyes back behind him. In another minute or so, he will emerge onto the street and forgotten about this feeling completely until next time. Somewhere else, there's a girl in the shower washing her hair. This is usually a mundane task that she completes with barely a thought. But tonight, she's alone in the house and something is different. She keeps opening her eyes, soap burning through her retinas to confirm that the bathroom is still empty. She feels exposed in a way that she never does when her parents are downstairs watching the television. Unseen, but their presence is still known. Another one in the living room of a shared flat. The flatmate left an hour ago or so. Through an archway in the corner of the eye is the dark, empty space of the kitchen. They realize that their eyes keep drifting over to that space until they are staring wide-eyed at the blackness. They lick their lips, thirsty. They do not venture into the dark kitchen for a much craved glass of water. People have tried in the past to isolate and examine that feeling, find a reason for its being, explain it away with science and comforting natural logic. They've all failed, of course. The feeling is not natural, because what it perceives is not natural. You always tell yourself that you're just being paranoid, and that it's just the leftover spooks from that last horror movie you watched, but I'm afraid that feeling is very real. It's primal, and it knows. It puts you on high alert because it senses danger, and the eerie feelings come from not being able to perceive it with your first five senses. Of course, there's an easier way of describing this feeling. This thing that comes over you in the dark empty spaces you find yourself in from time to time. It's me. Now, turn off the light, will you? <laughs>